All right, you guys. Hi, hi, hi. Team Talk Tuesday. We're so excited. It is April 23rd. A little bit different structure tonight. We're going to do Q&A um, just to kind of open up the floor to questions and stuff like that. But before we do that, um, we want to hear highs for this past week. Um, and we didn't do highs last week either um, with our guest speaker of Christy. So if you guys want to like tack on the week before, we just want to hear what exciting things are happening in your life. So feel free to unmute yourself and share some amazing highs. Okay, I'm going to go first. So my high is that I have six amazing, beautiful team members on tonight. There you go. That's my high. Sorry, I had to flip the screen and count. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, that was my high. Awesome. Jess. So, okay. I actually do have one. This morning, I read, I've been working on trying to lengthening up my runs so I can run farther and slowly work towards a 10K. And this morning, for the first time in my life, I ran four miles without stopping. Four miles? Good for you. Holy cow. <laughs> and you get That's a big deal. Like, Are you kidding me? That's a thing. Because he, he hasn't gotten excited about my victories before. So now he's trying to live it up. <laughs> he, wants to, he wants to tell us how supportive he is of your victories. <laughs> he has to make up for all of those times. <laughs> That's awesome. I love it. All right, I'll share mine since nobody else is sharing it. So um, I'll do like yesterday into today. So Lucy slept 13 hours last night. Yeah. Ooh. Yes, it won't ever happen again. But she slept 13 hours last night, which is going to help me kick this cold faster. Um, but and then today, I it's been a while since I've had an in-person prospect meeting that went really well. And this is somebody that I cold prospect off of LinkedIn. It was kind of uncomfortable because she was I was going into a meeting with her, like with her not knowing anything. And that's not usually how I roll. So I was like a little bit kind of freaking out. Like I'm, I have a cold, like, what am I like? What if she hates me? What if she's like, you brought me here to touch it, <laughs> like whatever. And then I had to flip on my image brain and I was like, it's going to go amazing. Like, of course she wants what we have. It's an amazing opportunity and it was great. And I feel very confident she's going to be on this call next week. So yay. That's awesome. All right. Does anybody else have some highs they want to share? This has nothing to do with Juice Plus, but I found some mushrooms. <laughs> like, what kind of mushrooms? Morel, like wild mushrooms. They're very hard to find. This is like the only time of year that they're out, and I found 20. So. Oh, wow. Oh. And, and you're going to make them? Yeah. You got to soak them in salt water for several days to, like, kill the bugs. <laughs> Then you, very brave you they're see. not the healthiest thing because you got to fry them, but they're okay. really, really good. <laughs> yeah. Nice. I was like, wait, where are we going with this, Stacy? Like, I mean, Aaron this could go anywhere. Those. I maybe, I don't know. He's not a mushroom I bet he, person. Yes. Uh -huh. Wild mushrooms? Ashley knows uh, what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, she does. Hey, Ashley, is everything good? I keep saying it going in and out. Can you hear us? Yeah, every time I try to turn on okay. the camera, it's me. Oh, okay, totally good. No, I just thought going in, I thought, oh, maybe we have technical difficulties. So, okay, no big deal. All right, did we have any other highs? Oh, there's Kale. None. All right, we're like, Bueller, Bueller, just kidding. So, okay, actually, let's see. This, this one will actually transition into what we're going to talk about with the shred and that is um, one of my other highs was that I finally had a scale victory for the first time in over a year um, which was really exciting this last week and so um, that is going to lead us into what we're going to talk about with the shred the upcoming May shred April May yeah May is next month um, so Kristen do you want to tell them about that I do, um, you guys. So if you were on our um, Game Changers call last week, you, he you heard about this. So if you did, I apologize you're hearing it again, but it won't hurt to hear it twice. So Kelsey and I are really, 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 really excited about this because for a really long time, I've had a love-hate relationship with this threat. 
Um, I love it because it's amazing and it's how I teach with in my health coaching practice and my, you know, personal training and nutrition. It's how I teach all my clients to eat whole foods, no processed foods, cut out sugar, cut out dairy, cut out gluten. Um, but my issue with the shred is especially people that I encounter in, in our area um, and people that I know need more structure. And so for me, the shred was too loosely structured, even for me personally. It was like there's too much leniency for me to like fall astray. And Well, too many options, right? Like we have so right. many incredible resources, but too many options. And I, I mean, we, Chris and I were talking, I've done this for years, right? Since after Brighton was born or something. And I know exactly what not to eat but that doesn't necessarily mean that I know what to eat. And so that's where Kristen comes in. Right, 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 right. So um, for a long time, I've been wanting to do this, but I just needed somebody like Kelsey to kind of like be like, yes, we're doing this. Let's get it done. Um, so what we have done is, and this is something you guys that at least for right now, we are just going to keep within our teams between, you know, our strongest mother, Kelsey and team and my team. Um, we ask that you not share it with other people right now, just because we don't want to get slapped by corporate for any reasons, but we basically have revamped the shred and what you get um, and what I spent all week doing is, and what Kelsey's now spending all her week doing is um, we are giving all night, every night, yeah, <laughs> we are giving daily um, meal plans. So we basically are telling people exactly what to eat every day for the first 10 days of the shred. After that, they get a little bit more leniency as they go into that maintenance phase. But for the first 10 days, they are basically being told, I created meal plans for them of what to eat. We use all the shred meals. Um, so for the first 10 days, they're going to be detoxing their system, tons of whole foods, all of that good stuff, the way that we normally shred, but where they're being told exactly what to eat. Um, Kelsey is compiling it into something really special that they're going to be able to access very easily. Um, and then... Um, after those 10 days of the shred, we are going to make a little bit more kind of macro friendly meals, um, a little bit higher protein, um, incorporating maybe not just plants, but also some meat, um, fish, eggs, that kind of stuff. Um, so really having what we call like macro friendly meals, which is looking at like a 40, 30, 30 ratio. So like 40% carbs, 30% fats, 30% protein. That doesn't have to mean anything to you. Just know that I got it taken care of and people are going to see some really good results with it because they're going to be following a program to a C. They're going to have a resource that they can click on and see everything they need to see. And it's going to be amazing. Yeah. And where this comes in is so that, that second, so the 20 days, right? The second half of the month, um, we have, we'll have options, right? So we'll have maybe five, I think we're going to start off with five different meals of in breakfast, in snacks, and in, in lunch, in snacks, and dinner, right? So we, we'll still have options throughout the day, that, and they can pick from any of the five for breakfast and mix match them, right, to kind of create some variety in their day. But um, you guys, so we waited to release this, right, until we kind of like had done, gone through this. And so for somebody who has been super stuck on the shred for a very long time, um, because of exactly what I said, like I know what not to eat, but that didn't mean I knew what to put in my body, right? So we, we gave this like a, a run through last week and I lost three pounds last week just by doing exactly what it told me to eat, right? And like not having, it was the biggest stress relief because I didn't have any guesswork in my day. I woke up knowing exactly what to do. I wasn't like my brain was not obsessing over what's next? What's next? What do I have to prep? What needs to be done? What, you know, like it was so simple because it was so straightforward. It took out any indecision. It took out any like um, uncertainty with if I'm doing this right or not. And um, it really took all the stress and the pressure off of it. Right. And so I know that, that you, your, your people are going to get way better results doing this. Um, it's not going to be just a free for all. Hey, yeah, here, just, just avoid or eliminate these five things and then do whatever else you want. Because then people get stuck with like, well, what can I eat? Like, okay, I can eat cardboard, right? Like, I mean, you just get so stuck. And so this eliminates that. So it's going to um, help with that. Plus we'll have some workouts that we're also, because activity is a big part of this as well. So we're going to have the workouts there. And I have also been doing follow along workouts that have been not very time consuming at all, at all. And I'm seeing the changes already. I wore like a tight shirt today, which I don't typically wear a tight shirt because, you know, it's been a long time since I've had Pearson and I still have baby weight. Um, but I did today and I didn't feel uncomfortable and gross. So 
results are happening. And um, I'm just, I'm telling you guys that because if I can do this, then like anyone can do it and they're going to love it. They're going to love it. And that's going to create raving fans and it's going to build your community better and stronger and faster. Yeah. So yeah. we hope, hope this is going to be, we hope you guys are excited about that. Yeah. Okay. And I was going to say, and hopefully that makes you more excited to share this shred also, because it's like something exciting too, to be like, I have this amazing program and like, you know, it's like, a, like it's a secret sauce that we have, you know, that people are going to want to be a part of because it's new and it's exciting. It's not new. We're just telling them exactly what to do instead of giving them all the <laughs> options. Yeah. So it's still very much shred guidelines and everything. We're just taking all the guesswork out of it and we're calling it the complete project. Um, so you guys can, um, we can share that. I'm, I'm still trying to come up with a really good, like, post for it for like inviting people to come check out what we're doing um <clears throat> but you know if if sidelines of other people start asking about it um it's still just it's still just the shred right so nothing crazy but we do want to keep this to our strong as a mother um grouping here um for the time being <laughs> and then that rolls us into um hey tina um that rolls us into our next announcement which we kind of had a uh, little whisperings of since conference, but today on Rep Wrap, Mitra talked about the Austin training. <clears throat> now, for a lot of you guys that have never been to conference, you, this isn't um, a big change for you, but for those that have been there, know that we always do a Shining Star uh, training Thursday morning, and that is always incredible, incredible training, but they're not going to do that this year, and so they're going to do something cooler and better and something I'm like so, so excited about. So on Wednesday afternoon, Wednesday is always our travel day to get to conference, to get set up, to get registered. But on Wednesday afternoon at 2 PM, they're going to kick off a training with Jeff Roberti, who is the top, one of the top um, income earners in our industry, right? Not just juice plus, but in our, in the network marketing industry. Okay. That's a really big deal. Um, and he is, he is actually Mitra's upline. Okay. So direct to our team and then, um, Lauren Lahav and, um, help me out with the name. Why am I forgetting the name again? Did, <laughs> hold on. This is ridiculous. I totally put it in our team message whenever I, um, sent it out. Uh, so Jeffrey Birdie, Lauren Lahav, and who does Lauren work for? Or, or who does Lauren do all those trainings with? Hold up, guys. I'm going to give you this info. Tony, because Robbins. Actually, Tony Robbins. Thank you. Okay. So if you have ever done any uh, mindset work around the industry, or if you have ever seen an ad pop up for a Tony Robbins conference, like they're incredible, incredible value um, added. And they are typically a couple hundred dollars to attend those trainings. And it's just unreal. Okay. So on Wednesday from 2 p.m., this is like really exciting. I don't know why I'm so excited about this. From, but from 2 to 10, 2 p.m. to 10 p.m., we're doing a training. And dinner will be included in that. They'll do a big dinner. They're going to be doing giveaways and awards, not awards, um, like cash prizes and everything because Lauren Lahav likes to pretend that she's Oprah and just give things away. Um, and then from 10 until midnight, they're going to do a big party, a big conference kickoff party, which we've never done before conference before. So that should actually be pretty fun. And I'm then so Thursday morning, that, you guys, I, I know, like, <laughs> I, like I've missed the last two conferences because of a baby and a wedding. And like, I am, you guys don't even know, no, <laughs> I'm, like, I'm basically already packed. Yeah. Like we're, we're there. Um, and so, which then leaves us time. It's Thursday morning to do some really cool things, um, before the juice plus conference kicks off. So the cost for that training on Wednesday is a hundred dollars. And, um, it is a very, like they have limited seats for that. Um, because it is open to our entire shining star organization. So, um, which again, if you guys are new, that doesn't mean anything to you, but just know if, if you want to go to that training and be a part of that on Wednesday, that we need to get you hooked up with your ticket ASAP. We'll post the link in the Strong as a Mother chat as soon as we're done here, so that way you guys have that. Um, other than that, I mean, we're so amped up for that. Okay, so let's go into that's an, that's all of our announcements for tonight. Um, so let's go into our Q and A part of this call because we wanted to. <sighs> we're tired of talking at you guys. We want to talk with you guys. So let's be real. That's what it comes down to. Um, no, we want to know where you're at in your business. Where are you feeling stuck? Where are you feeling wins? Where are you feeling um, 
like you're struggling, you know, whatever it is, whatever it is, go ahead and just shoot out your questions and we're going to answer them all together and just talk through them. Hi, everybody. Um, hello, on. hello. Hope everybody's having a great week. Um, so I have, it's kind of going back to what you guys just talked about with the, um, how do we say the new shred, our new shred? Um, yep, the, the complete project. Yeah, the complete project. So um, a potential client, I'm talking about Crystal Kelsey. So okay. he asked me, about the shred and i'm glad that you said that because i couldn't really give her some effort give her any information um i like the fact that it's um a little bit you guys have you guys have tailored it to be a little bit more structured um so she so going forward how do i reintroduce this to her is it is it available for us to you know what i'm saying yeah people? yeah so what yeah so it's not available um as of yet so what we want to do with it is it's going to be available in the app store um we are because we're compiling it all into an app so that way people will have it right on their phone and they will be able to just open it up and have it all there uh so this will be in the app store now but we i'm not sure how how to go about this portion of it yet we haven't nailed down the specifics so this first go around it may be a little different but um what we want to do is basically we are offering the program for free along with their juice plus purchase, right? We, uh, the same thing with the shred. We always tell people that your juice plus is what you pay for. And then you get this program for free. So they want to pick what the products are that they want one shake a day, two shakes a day and your capsules, whatever it is that you're getting. Mm -hmm. And then the program comes free with it and the support comes free with it. Mm -hmm. um, so with that, we want to keep the, keep the same structure. However, we know that there are people that like Stacy has that do the biggest loser challenge, which is her uh, thing she does with her local people there. And um, they don't necessarily want, they want to be in a healthy community, but they don't necessarily want to buy the products. Well, that's okay. You can still have access to it, but then we'll, we'll have a fee attached to that, like a very small fee for, for all of the meal plans and everything. Kind of what you would do if you paid to have them online. But if they're your Juice Plus customers, then we want to give them access to it for free. Okay. So yeah. when you're sharing it with her, just say they're, you know, the, the products are what you pay for. The program comes free. There's going to be a structured guided meal plan for the first 10 days that you'll follow very strictly. Um, and then after the 10 days, we give you, we compile a list of, um, of options for each meal time. So that way you're not just left up a creek, right? We want to have you, we want to give you that support still. Right. Okay. All right. Does that make sense? Does that help? Yeah. It's kind of, it's, it's really making me more excited because um, I can give them um, a, a structured guide tool to actually help them yeah. lose weight because like so far I've only been able to say, okay, you, why they need the juice plus capsules, you know, it's, the nutrients that you're missing out of your body, but people always just want to lose weight. I'm not going to say they just want to lose weight, but you know, that's the top of their mind. Well, how do yeah. I get the weight off? You know what I'm saying? So yeah. to be so able what's to funny is that I, I literally, my husband just sent me a, a meme thing tonight that said, I want to lose weight, but I don't want to get caught up in one of those eating right and exercising schemes. <laughs> I'm like, that's exactly what you're saying. Like that's the mentality, right? They do. They want to lose weight. So, but we get it. Like whenever you tell them like, well, you're just going to flood your body with good things, right? Like that's not, they're like, okay, but, but then what? Right. 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 So we want to, can we want to erase that confusion and that uncertainty because my idea of healthy and Kristen's idea of healthy, I mean, like are totally different things. Right. Which is why I've still struggled. Not necessarily that I'm eating bad, but I'm eating, I'm not, I'm not eating, um, like things put together, like proteins and fats, like at the same, like, I don't know, like it's all crazy. Kristen's brain is like brilliant with all, how all the food works. Okay. But uh, most of us aren't that way. And so we're like, Oh, well I had grapes and, uh, and apples and oranges and bananas and, um, a couple nuts today. So like, I totally was healthy. Yeah. But your body needs a lot more than that. It, right. Yeah. It needs more guidance. And so that's what Kristen's doing. Kristen's given us now all of the guidance and taking the guesswork out of it. So your body's just gonna be really, really happy. So yeah. 
just, you know what? And it might, this first go around, you might have to be like, just trust me on this. Like if you trust me, we'll make this work for you. And it might just come down to saying that. So what I'm going to do is, thank you, Kristen and Kelsey, for putting this together, first and foremost. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to do the shred tin myself. I'm going to do it as a post, and um, I'm going to, I'm not going to say abandon, but I'm going to sit aside what I've been doing to, you know, get my weight off. I'm going to do this, and then I'm going to, I'm going to use it daily to post or post and say, hey, try this. That's, so I, I think that's how I'm going to use it. So, cool. Yeah, be a product as a product. That's awesome. That's awesome. Great. Okay. Any other questions? Let's see. Hey, Tilly in hey, Hawaii. I know. I know. Um, looking off. Look, marriage capital of the world. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> we just saw like walk past like five people taking wedding pictures. But my question is, um, this is recorded, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Cause I logged on late. Sorry. It's but okay. Yeah, okay. I have to listen to it later. That was my only question. Okay. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> that was an easy one. Great. Okay. I love the fact that she is roaming Hawaii and still makes time <laughs> with the time change to get on our call. Like that I'm is. I'm trying here. I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. All right, I can see some cameras got turned off because kiddos' bedtimes and stuff. I totally get that. Anyone else have questions? Anything. Like you have a prospect who's being a pain in the butt or you have, you have questions on like how to approach a situation. Anything. Let's hear it. Uh, I have one. I might have missed it because I was disconnecting from the internet. Um, but when you're talking about that uh, – meal plan and everything <laughs> uh, sorry, he's creeping on my shoulder um when do you, when will that be available do you guys have an are you're saying you're going to put it in the app but i'm trying to get an idea of like when it might be so it will be ready before the may shred so okay. the may shred kicks off is it the third or something i don't i don't have a calendar in front of me it is um, the third is a Friday, I think. It should be May, Monday, May 6th. May 6th. Okay, yeah. So um, ideally, it'll be ready by the first. Um, but if I decide that I need to sleep one night instead of work on this, then I might, like, it might be the second of May. Right. I don't know. So, yeah, ideally, that that's when it will be ready. And, um, and this one will be different than the link that we have that we send out to every, like, you guys all downloaded the app from the link. This will be a separate app that actually is downloaded through an app store. Okay. And what, um, I imagine, like, would it have, like, a list of the groceries or things we need to get, or would we need to, like, figure that out? Yeah, so I'm working on adding in a substitution list um, as well as, so we have all the meals. We have all the 10 days plugged in. We're adding a substitution list, so that way, like, if you're making your meal and you realize you don't have avocados, then like what else do you put in to make sure that you get those healthy fats and it has a, it has a substitution list, right? So that way um, you're never left up, left stranded. Um, but yeah, and also I, I actually, that was the last feature I added on last night was a shopping list. So now I'm going to go through all of the ones that Kristen, um, that we put all the 10 days that she sent me and I'm going to put together the grocery list. Oh, Chris. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So Kristen's already got that. So yeah. I'm gonna go it, it'll be on there. Yeah. Totally. Cool. That's what I want to know. Thanks. So wait. Oh, I did. Sorry. My daughter's trying to go to bed and I'm sitting on her blanket. Whew. <laughs> like bad mom juju right there. All right. Anything about conference? Anything about um, our game changers? Our game changers act activity for the week? <laughs> Anything? Stacy has a really cool. Hey, you didn't share your high. Your Team Z Boot Camp. Oh, yeah. I'm doing the Team Z Boot Camp. So, so is Tilly. Oh, is she? Yeah, you guys can be accountability buddies for it. <laughs> I think she has her accountability 
partner with yep. uh, Ashley Skates, right? Wait, I heard my name. What happened? <laughs> Stacy's also doing the um the Teamsy boot camp. Cool. If you guys don't know what Teamsy is, don't don't stress yourself over it. Uh, Teamsy is a tool that we use, um, and it is a kind of like a personal assistant, like memory jogger kind of. I guess is how you'd explain it. I don't know. It's really, really cool. And once you hit probably what VF or SD, once you hit your SD promotion, that's when we typically will attach, attach this uh, or talk to you about Team Z. Awesome. All right, guys, we're at 8.30. So any other like burning questions? Oh, promotions? yes, I have a question. Okay, let's hear it. Um, it's Christina. Um, tomorrow is my launch call, and I'm kind of nervous. And, and I was just wondering if you guys had any tips. This is my very first time. Did you hear that, Kristen? Kind of. She said she's got her first launch call and wondered if we have any tips. Is that what she said? Yeah. yeah. Um, so one is just practice your story ahead of time. Um, whoever you're doing the call with, whether it's Kelsey or somebody else, just message that person, message that person via Voxer or Facebook Messenger, whichever one you use and practice your story. Cause that's what you just want to nail on the launch call. It's going to be amazing and it's going to go great. And I will tell you whether you have one person on or 20, it's going to be amazing. Um, just practice your, your, what you're going to say. So you feel really confident in it and that it flows really smoothly. And other than that, it's going to be perfect. Yeah, my, my biggest thing with the story, you guys, we've been doing this for eight years. I've been doing this for eight years, and my, my biggest thing is with your story, still write it down. Write it down, and don't be afraid to use that, like read it even. Like read it with excitement in your voice. Clearly, they want to hear your story and your experience, but read it because it'll keep you on point. Otherwise, you, you start to be like, oh, yeah, and then this, oh, and this, oh, yeah, and you get like all discombobulated. And then you, instead of it being a quick one minute, two minute story, it's like five minutes long and it completely loses the effect, right? So as long as you have worked with your built in, building your story with your um, sponsor and with your team, make sure that that's solid and, and you're honestly like people may not remember anything else that's shared on that call, but they will always remember your story. No okay, pressure. Perfect. Just kidding. I know, right? <laughs> It'll be, no, it'll be, it'll be really, really good. Yeah, just, just make sure you, you write it out. I still read mine. I still read mine, like, word for word. I'm saying, I got to testify to that because when Kelsey and I did uh, an event call and stuff, um, we had one person that was actually actively watching, but I was talking to her about it. I found out that she and I live, like, two minutes from each other and was asking her, like, what she liked about it. And, Hera is thinking like, oh my gosh, like Kelsey's like the guru of all this. Like, what did Kelsey say that spoke to her? And she was like, actually, uh, the stuff that you talked about is what really hit me. And it's like, really? Yeah. <laughs> I was a mess, you know, like, are you sure? And yeah, and sure enough, we had like, we found out we had more in common. We had all these like similar struggles we were going through and how she supposed to help us with those. And so I was like, oh, you know, so I was just thought it was cool that my story you know, things that I've gone through, like, I didn't think it was going to make a difference, but it did. Love it. And that's the cool part about this, because it's because, like, I don't have Jessica's story. I can't say uh, the things that Jessica can share, because I ha that's not been my experience, right? I can say, oh, yeah, my friend Jessica has had this thing, and they might be like, oh, that's interesting, but when they hear it from her, it's a game changer. Yeah. And so your story should not be like anybody. I mean, don't don't feel like it has to be like anybody else's, because it will appeal to the people that you need to help. Yeah. Oh, I do have one question. The game changer you talked about. What is that again for this week? Ah, the game. So the game changers is the group that we from the Wednesday night call last week. It's everybody who is pushing for that fast track to sales coordinator under the new um, requirements, which is like so so cool. Um. And so it was the requirements around that. There's We have a 10-minute recording on it. If you guys want to, to get in on that and see what that's about, just watch the 10-minute recording, and it'll explain the requirements for that promotion as well as um, kind of what we're doing in the Game Changers. And then the Game Changers is actually a group that we have on Voxer. 
And so again, the requirements to get into that group will be on that reporting. Cool, thank you. Cool. Yeah. All right, well, we'll wrap it up. Sorry, we're five minutes over, guys. We appreciate your time. Um, I hope you guys all have an amazing week. And uh, if you do have any questions, just don't hesitate to message us in the Strong as a Mother, you know, Facebook message group or, you know, wherever. We're here for you guys. Yeah, that should absolutely be utilized more. You guys should be like hanging out and saying hi yeah, and showing totally. us fun pictures. Anyway, all right. Awesome. You guys have a great night and have a great week. And we will talk to you next Tuesday. See ya.